action. Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here with uh, Buddy Lawrence from Sentinel Construction. This is my uh, my main roofing company. And I wanted to show you a really cool system we're doing on this house. This is a new construction home in central Austin. And uh, we're putting a pretty interesting product on this house that uh, is my really my preferred roofing system, although I haven't done it for that long. We just started doing this. Um, Buddy, what product are we putting on top of our roof here? Uh, this is an ISO board. Um, it's made by Hunter Panels, and uh, it's a total of inch and a half. It has our value of 6.6, .6, um, but it has a, the OSB board actually adhered to the ISO board itself. So on this house, you'll have your zips. Is that what the yep. system is? Yeah, we use a zipper zip system. Uh, your ISO board sandwiched between basically uh, two decking systems. Um, on top of the insulation that's already in the house. And yes. then will there be a waterproofing on top of this ice? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a, a layer of 30-pound felt on top of this, and then uh, we'll be putting a barrage 24-gauge um, sanding seam metal roof. Uh, that's a, a snap lock system on the roof uh, to also add to the energy efficiency of this home. And one of, the, one of the things I really like about this system is that we really now have a, a total blanket of insulation of continuous ISO board on top of our deck. So we're going to have that, uh, that R6.6 on top of the roof deck, and then we're going to spray five and a half inches of spray foam underneath that. So all of our uh, rafters up there are not going to have the same thermal bridging uh, that could happen in a traditionally insulated roof system. I think this house is going to be really well insulated, and in our, our hot Texas summers, I think we're going to find the attic on this house is going to be incredibly cool with this system. So, buddy, thanks for your help, and uh, I'm looking forward to you getting started and running this house. Okay, we're on the uh, back of the house here, and we are screwing down those OSB uh, with uh, ISO board attached panels that you saw in the uh, earlier section of our video. It's basically like adding a second layer of roof with an insulation sandwich on there, and you can see we're, we're screwing those panels down with a uh, uh, pancake-headed fastener. And then we're going to do the entire roof over top of the living area with, uh, with this system. It's going to be a great system. You guys are doing a real good job. Thanks for joining me, and we'll show you here in a little bit what it looks like when we start screwing down the roof. Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. We filmed yesterday, uh, and we were showing this house, this new construction home in uh, central Austin, how we were doing some uh, ISO board on top of the roof. And today we're actually running the coil stock through our bending machine, which is making the, uh, the metal panels for this roof. This is a pretty amazing machine. You can see the, the coil stock is coming through the machine, and out the other side comes our metal roofing panels. I've got Buddy with Sentinel uh, Construction here. Hey, Buddy, what's uh, what's going on with this machine? Well, we got the plates off right now, so we can kind of just see how the machine works. It's pretty amazing. But uh, right now we're uh, performing a uh, it's 20 inches wide, and it's got an inch and a half seam, and it's a snap lock panel. And so this is 22 gauge? 24 20, gauge. 24 gauge? 24 gauge metal. It's uh, medium bronze from Barrage Manufacturing Company. So this comes to us pre-painted basically already and the roll ready to go. Uh, the color is baked on. It's Kynar 500. It has a, uh, a 20 year color finish warranty. And does everybody who uh, puts a metal roof on do it the same way? No, a lot of people, you know, either, you know, order them uh, directly from the manufacturer. Looks like that's the end of the roll. We're just putting the last ones through right now. And a lot of people, uh, we kind of cut out a middleman instead of buying panels already fabricated from, say, Barrage or Architecture Building. Because that's one of the big companies out there. We actually buy the raw materials to pull from them and uh, fabricate them ourselves. So. And for somebody watching this video who doesn't know much about metal roofing, what, uh, what would be the expected service life of a roof like this, buddy? Lifetime, I would say, for, for most, it just just kind of depends. You know, the only thing that I can see really, you know, changing on it is your, your color. Yeah. Your color finish after time. So we should get what do you think? 50 years, 75 years out of roof like this? I would say at least 50, but you know. that's great. And is there any recycled content in the steel already? Do you think? That's a good question. I think it's prob. I've heard anywhere it's from 100% recycled. I don't think it's 100%, Austin, huh? but I believe that there is about 25% recycled content. And then let's say if you did a tear off on a metal roof, if someone comes to pull this off in 75 years, would this metal likely go to a landfill, or do you think this would get oh, no. recycled? No, as far as we do, 
plenty of re-roofs and taken straight to the scrap yard, which is going to be recycled, and you know, so they don't have to fill up the landfills. Ton of benefits to a roof like this. Instead I'm of you know paying to, to to dump something, you know, you also get a little bit of change in your pocket. So yeah, that's right. Hurt. That's a good thing overall. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Let's uh, let's get back in the back of the house. We're going to show you what's going on with the uh, with the insulation board. Real quick. Okay, I jumped up on some scaffolding up here, and I'm on this side uh, lower roof. I wanted to show you what we're doing here. I showed you in the earlier video this ISO board that comes in in four by eight sheets. It's an inch and a half total thick. Uh, the insulation is one inches thick. It's a 6.6 R value, and then it's got a half inch sheet of uh, OSB on the top. So now we've got our uh, OSB roof decking underneath here. We've applied this down with some long screws into the uh, roof rafters, and then we've got this uh, second layer of OSB on the top here, which is going to allow us to screw our metal roof right on top of this. And then on the inside of this house, I think I mentioned prior, we're putting five and a half inches of open cell uh, polyurethane spray foam inside this house. So this is going to be a really, really well insulated shell. And the benefit of this uh, ISO board on the roof is we've eliminated all that thermal bridging. All those areas where uh, we've got two by six or two by eight rafters inside the house, now none of that, of that uh, heat transfer is going to happen very easily because we've got this thermal break right on the roof deck here. And we put this uh, everywhere in the whole house. So when we put our metal roof on here, we're going to put a slightly larger deflashing on here. Our gutters will come up right here, and you won't even be able to tell that it's on the roof, but it's going to make a big difference in the overall efficiency of this house. Thanks for joining me, and definitely ask your builder about doing this on your house if you're building a new home or even if you're doing a re-roof on your house. Have a good day, everybody.